Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Guess what? Frankenstein, get a little more work done on it. Look what I got laid out. Bang, 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 bang. Jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> this freaking roll cage, man. This is probably the last of the roll cage. I got pretty much everything laid out here. So we had it actually had it powder coated. Check this thing out, man. This thing is sick. Triple black powder coated. This thing looks good. And we also had the clamps powder coated up to match all the chrome on the car. We had those powder coated up too to match. But one problem though, I don't know if you guys can tell. You guys should already tell. It's kind of light out. I should say no more light. We have no more light left. Um, the lighting in the garage is kind of suspect to say the least. Um, I got a light up here that doesn't really work all that well. I can hook that up, but I don't know. Um, we might have to wait to put these on. Unless, because I don't want to really give you guys some crappy quality, no light video. You see how dark it is in here. This is where the area we got to work in. So I'm going to try to turn on some lights real quick, see if that helps out. If not, I might wait just until the morning to get this thing in. But that roll cage, let me show you how this thing is going to sit real quick. Let's see. So this guy here, this is the Tiger Cage, by the way. If you guys do not know, this is the Ride Tech Tiger Cage. Um, if you guys did not see the initial install video, you guys can go check that out. Um, make sure to subscribe as well, because you'll get all the freaking mess that we ran into with this thing. We had so many problems because of a such a custom application this thing is. Um, we have a reinforced frame, so... We ran into a bunch of problems there, but it'll go down there. See, you guys can already see the lighting is so crappy, but it bolts down there in the front, comes across down here by the rocker and bolts with a couple clamps up here, down at the bottom, one down here, two up here. And then we have a bar that comes across from here back to the seats for the seat belts for the harness itself you guys can tell too oh yeah you like that i got the new seat front seat i should say finally installed finally got that installed interior is starting to come along you guys i'm liking the way this thing is looking What a pain in my ass, y'all. Oh my God. You guys, we got this thing in. I mean, there's a lot that I did not show you guys on camera because you guys would have just died of old age waiting on for this thing to be installed because this thing was a pain in the ass, believe it or not. I mean, if you want my honest opinion, I think it looks great and everything, but I don't think I'd ever do one of these ever again because of the install process. It's just... It's some of the stuff, the way they did it, just does not make sense to me. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see. Let me get my light here. But it's, like, damn near impossible to get these bolts in, like, where they're at. Like, look at, like, how are you supposed to get a wrench or a, a socket, anything on that? Like, just, you can't. Like, it took me almost five hours just to get that one side done over there off camera, you know? And I just, no way you guys were going to sit there through that. 
but we got this side installed i got to do all we got left is the crossbar for the actual seat belt so we're going to throw that on real quick uh, let's get this thing on and then that cage will pretty much be tied in all tied up guys looks like we got that last clamp on there real quick um last clamp is on now you guys see what i had to do kind of just to kind of to get this bar to kind of tighten up a little bit because everything's kind of already tight for the most part so i had to use this ratchet strap to kind of bring everything together to just to make sure to be able to get these bolts on these last four bolts but all we got to do is really tighten this guy up here all we gotta do is tighten that guy there and then put on our actual harness for the seat. So let's go ahead and do that now. We'll throw the harness bar. Harness is on and that should be wrap up this roll cage. Looks good though, what you guys think? All right, now that we got this all set up, now we can put the uh, harness bar in. First thing you gotta do guys is make sure you remove that, um, the actual bracket that this is supposed to go down onto the floorboard so we're not using that bracket remove that guy i've already removed it on mine it should look like that remove that um should leave it something like this and then you want to move this seat far as far as forward as you think you're gonna be driving in so i just moved it all the way up just to have a better idea so that way you position this seat belt in the best position as possible with the max uh i should say slack so that way you know kind of where that harness is going to land and how it should lay in the seat so you have enough seat belt to tighten yourself down so after that you can begin to actually put this on the actual bar itself adjust this accordingly and then lace it in So before I tighten anything up, uh, a buddy of mine, Curtis, with that Camaro, I'm sure you guys seen him around. He gave me this nice little idea to put some tape where your harness is gonna sit at. So that way it actually helps with any rubbing or anything like that on the paint of the bar, which is, I thought it was pretty genius too, so. We're gonna put a little bit of tape here just to kind of protect the finish. Should help us keep this a little bit nicer for a little longer period of time. If I can get it on straight. looks good guys just like that so i don't know if you guys noticed but i did um 
tie the excessive um, up here. I've just used a little zip tie and rolled it up nice and neat just in case we ever got to remove those. But we got them pretty much set up. They look pretty good. That should work real well. Got these all nice and laced up just like that. Now, there was just some way with a little YouTube magic, we can get that one to get installed. Hey, hey, look at that, baby. Looking good, you guys. I like it. Yes, sir. Looking real good. Bro cage is done, y'all. It is complete. Looks good. Racing harnesses look good. Got them all laced in, ready to go. Safety first, you guys. Safety first. Give you guys a quick glimpse at Tiger Cage from Ride Tech. You guys can see up there. Drops in the back down there. And then come down here. All the way down to the kick panels over there. But it is ready to go for the most part, guys. Looks like the cage is pretty much dialed in. We got to just clean up a few things in here. Get a few things dialed in, too. I got to switch out that shifter, too. I'm going to order a new shifter. Um, I got to put a lock on that box down there. I got a lot of a little things to do here. Nothing crazy, but I really hope the next time you guys see the Frankenstein project that it'll be on the road. So that is the goal. Once again, man, appreciate everybody. New subscribers. If you guys have not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and hit the bell for notifications. Once again, we still got the 68 Charger Hellcat swap going on, so you don't want to miss out on that. And on like that last video you guys saw, we got another project coming in too. So I want to button this one up before we even touch that one along with the charger. And you already know, stay wrenching.